shoulders, please, gentlemen. Death. It's the only certainty in life. Four, gentlemen, thank you. But for some, it's a passion, a vocation, a career. I'm a little bit nervous, but obviously really excited at the same time. Ellie and Ben are 17, but they are surrounded by death. Luke is one of the UK's youngest funeral home bosses, and he's trying to survive in an industry which demands sensitivity, sympathy, and seriousness. Be careful them flowers. How do teens and 20-somethings fit in? <laughs> be patient, keep your mouth shut, and you'll be fine. Hello, Luke Allen, funeral directors. Yeah, if I can take your address, please. One minute, going to grab a pen. While Ellie and Ben are both very minute, young, sir. Luke is a slightly older younger taker. He's 25 um, okay, and running his own please. business after starting okay. as an apprentice at a local firm. Call cool, out. So just through here, this is my mortuary. So this is where pretty much the magic happens. So this is sort of my job where when their loved one comes back to me, I want them to look the best they possibly can. I want their family to feel like they're at peace now. They look like they're just sleeping. So this is where my time is spent. So little things in here. A lot of people think, oh, can they have their teeth? And some people don't find their teeth. So we have like different things like mouth formulas. We have eye caps, obviously the eyes will always sink into the back of the head. So we can either inject the eye to bring the eye forward, or we can put an eye cap in, which give a nice natural look in the eye, which will make them just look like they're asleep. So we want to have a nice full eye and not a sunken eye. So this side of the room here, I bring the stretcher in for their loved one. I get a tray out, which is all, it's all pumped up. So you literally just pump up, you'll bring the tray out, and I'll literally just put their loved one nicely onto the tray, slide them into the fridge, close the door. I want people to start talking and say, do you know what, that boy puts a lot of time and effort in. Because at the end of the day, I am only 25, so I'm here for a long time. I've still got another, what, when do I retire? 40, 42 years time I'm gonna retire, so when I was 67, so I've only just started paying into a pension. Luke's dreaming big. <laughs> But before that, he has to make it through the first few months to keep the real Grim Reaper at bay, the bank manager. You can't pick and choose when the things are going to come in. I wanted free by Christmas, which free just means it pays all the bills, it pays the wages, the fuel can go ahead. You never know where it's going to go. This is going to be one of the biggest funerals that I've done today. It's going to be over 250 people, so we've got 150 orders of service. Luke only opened his funeral home in September, and today is a day he really needs to get right. It's essential the next few hours go well as he tries to build his business and get more funerals in the future. This fresh boss doesn't need any younger taker slip-ups. Does anybody have any questions? Everyone know what they're doing? Yes. Super, thank you. Ellie and Ben, you'd like to come with me? We're gonna go, go and close down the coffin. Luke's team have less than an hour to get the coffin ready, the flowers sorted, and the hearse prepared. <laughs> One slight mistake, and Luke's reputation will be on the line. Turn it a little bit, turn it towards me. Go on, they're quite stiff, so towards me, mate. Other way. Other way. That's it, keep going, keep going. No, the other way. That way? Yeah. Ellie, you're gonna show him what to do. Ellie, go on. Well done, Ellie. Thank you. Glad you're here. OK. With the clock ticking, Luke has to make sure everything is in place and running on time to avoid missing his slot at the crematorium. Just, just be careful them flowers. After three, come on, lifting. So one, two, three. Wheels. Hello, Ben. Mind your fingers when you push it. Mind just take it inside. Yeah, just have the pillow on the back as well, please. Right. Let's make a move. Ready? Let's go. It's been a stressful morning, but Luke has managed to stick to schedule. Go. He'll now accompany the hearse to pick up the dead person's family and friends, paging or walking in front as it leaves his shop. It's a gesture of respect. And while he is doing that, Ellie and Ben arrive at the crematorium to ensure the chapel and orders of service are set up correctly. 
all before Luke and the hearse arrive. Shoulders, please, gentlemen. Thank you, Ben. Thank you. You're all comfortable here, gents. Okay. Forward, gentlemen, thank you. Right from me, please, Andy. Ladies, gentlemen, family and friends, I'd like to follow you into the chapel, please. Obviously, when you are getting a granddad out, obviously do just one at a time, okay? Because obviously it's not attached. No. With the service underway, Ellie and Ben's responsibilities continue. They have to unload the rest of the hearse and lay the family's flowers out on display. But will they meet Luke's high standards? We need to swap the dad and the granddad around, only because he was dad before he was a granddad. Oh, yeah. But just swap them around a little bit, please. Great at all times, can't fault it. Really happy. Now we're going to get warm, quick cup of tea get the young ones in, get them sorted, and then wait for the bell to go, carry on with the service. I really liked how you ran it, actually. I think you did a very good job. I, very I, think, I think it was very inspiring to see. Yep. To say you've only been going a couple of months yep. to what you've got is Super. amazing. Well, thank you for coming down. So Luke has left thank Ellie and Ben feeling great. inspired, but being your own boss isn't the only option open to these younger takers. Many funeral firms offer in-house training, helping their trainees with industry-backed courses. 